Hey there, welcome back. So in this particular session, uh, we are going to look at how we can uh, set up our Tricentis mobile agent on the Mac OS. Now we have already seen uh, the Windows version. The Mac uh, version is pretty much similar. Uh, we need to download and install the setup. And then uh, we need to configure the Tricentis mobile agent service so that it runs on our Mac operating system. So uh, the first step uh, is to go to the support hub, tricentis.com, log in there, and then go into resources, downloads. And then here uh, we can select Tricentis mobile agent. Here, uh, instead of the Windows installer, we are going to choose the Mac OS installer. So uh, go ahead and uh, download this, okay? And uh, once the download is complete, um, I will cancel this because I've already done that. So I will just open uh, the zip here. Okay, so uh, once I open the zip uh, for the Tracentis mobile agent, which was downloaded, uh, it will open up this setup. I can go ahead and uh, continue uh, with this particular setup. Pretty much similar to uh, how we have on Windows. So we'll install the software. So once this is completed, uh, we can close uh, this setup box and then um, we can go ahead and launch the Tracentis mobile agent on the Mac OS. So uh, we can select this. It is going to uh, start up the agent uh, in the background. Uh, you will also see it on the top taskbar once uh, it is done. Uh, we can choose the open console to start the console here. So it looks pretty similar to how uh, it was in the Windows. Uh, it is the local host and uh, 8585. Again, uh, you can go to configure devices and uh, configure uh, all your devices. Uh, the one difference you will see here is it will auto populate the virtual devices uh, for the iOS. Now this will only happen if you have got Xcode uh, installed and set up on your Mac OS and you have got some virtual devices which are already downloaded uh, in your uh, Xcode. Um, and then uh, it will also show up here, right? So uh, if I go ahead now and uh, open one of the devices here, uh, which may be this iPad 10th generation. So I can go ahead and uh, open this device right here. So as you can see, uh, this is uh, the iPad device. Uh, it may take some time uh, in the first instance um, as it is trying to configure this device uh, from the Tracentis mobile agent. Okay, and uh, we can also interact uh, directly with the device here. So you can open your app right on uh, this particular device, as you can see. So on, if I can close this now, we can also connect our real device and once we connect it, uh, it will show up right here. Also, there is uh, something called iOS artifacts. Now, uh, this is uh, when you have got an Apple developer account, you can provide the team ID and uh, then um, you can generate a new certificate uh, and you can upload the provisional profile. Uh, there is a tutorial right here on how to do this. Uh, we'll see this later on. Uh, when we work with the iOS real devices and we want to test the iOS apps. But we can also work uh, with the virtual devices uh, if they are connected. So that's how we can connect the Tracentis mobile agent on uh, the Mac OS operating system. Uh, once this is connected and set up, now we can uh, connect to this uh, as a virtual service from the Tracentis Tosca, which is running on a Windows machine. So uh, we are going to see this in the next session. So we are going to connect uh, our Tracentis Tosca uh, to this uh, particular service, which is running on a Mac OS. Okay, so we can do it both ways. Uh, we can either connect it to the local service or to a service which is running somewhere else in some other operating system.